you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, <laughs> um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? Are you retarded? It's not a rhetorical question. Are you retarded? No, I'm not. Hey, what's up, everybody? Jazz Broganto here. Another episode of What's Next, Your Daily Dose. Pardon my voice. And um, hopefully it uh, sounds a little bit stronger than it did yesterday. Um, but this morning, yeah, this morning was uh, not too hot for good old jazz. So um, you get an evening edition. Well, there was a little dust up uh, that went on this past Tuesday at the Capitol Hill where you had one senator from Missouri who asked a simple question, what is a woman? to a Berkeley professor, and yeah, the Karen came out. Here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. Watch, pro-abortion professor accuses Josh Hawley of opening transgender people up to violence. Yes, because words are violent. But before I show that, let's give a little background. Kara Bridges, a professor at Berkeley School of Law, accused Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri on Tuesday of opening transgender people up to violence by asking if only Women can get pregnant. Yes. What is a woman for Matt Walsh? The Senate Judiciary Committee held a hearing on the legal consequences of Supreme Court's recent ruling overturning Roe. During the hearing, Holly wanted to clarify what Bridges meant by referring to those who could get pregnant. Quote, I want, want to clear up one thing, Professor Bridges. You said several times. You used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you meant by it. You referred to people with the capacity for pregnancy would that be women? Again, a simple question. Bridges claimed that many other people besides women could get pregnant. Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do, ha do not have the capacity for pregnancy. There are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy as well, as well as nine binary people, you know, those 75 thunder genders who are capable of pregnancy. The Berkeley Law Professor asked. And of course, that is her. Holly replied that this phrase does not focus on women's rights, which is the topic of Tuesday's Senate Judiciary hearing. Bridges labeled Holly's line of questioning transphobic. Yes, it's phobic. You're racist. You racist, Josh Holly, because it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing them. She continues saying that Holly could open transgender people up to violence by denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist. Holly asked. I'm denying trans people exist by asking if you're talking about women having pregnancy. Bridges also called to repeal the ban on federal funding for abortion, otherwise known as the Hyde Amendment. She said it made it impossible for low-income people to rely on their health care insurance. The Missouri populace said, according to today's Democratic Party, if you believe that only women can get pregnant, you are a bigot and responsible for violence. Uh, I, I want to visit with you, Ms. Maskey, but before I do, I just want to clear one thing up. Professor Bridges, you said several times, you've used a phrase, I want to make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So, so wow. this is really a women's rights issue. It's, uh, it's We can it's recognize what? that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic. There it is. Um, and it opens there up trans it is. people to violence. Oh by not my yes! Them. Wow, you're saying that Damn I'm you, people Josh to violence Holland. by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies. So I'm one. I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important because of my line of questioning. Because so we can't talk about it. Because denying that trans people exist and Watch pretending not to know that they exist. I'm is, denying that trans people exist by asking her. you if you're talking you? about women you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that uh, men can get pregnant? 
No, I don't think we can get <laughs> So you are denying that trans Boom. people exist. And that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you? Absolutely. Or are they also Boom. treated like this? Where no, no, no. They're, they're told that to they're at opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time in my class. You should join. Well, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned a you, lot I know. in this exchange. Absolutely. Extraordinary. Boom. Love it. We jump from that to this. This is also out of Breitbart. This is Hawley's reaction as he appears on Fox News with Sean Hannity. It's a religion to the left that you affirm men can get pregnant. During appearance on Fox News' Hannity, jo jo Senator Josh Hawley, fresh off his dust up with University of California Berkeley professor, just remember, Berkeley, actual social critical thinking, go to die. I think it's a fact, Sean, if you know what. But for today's Democratic elite, Democratic leaders, it's not only a fact, it's a religion to them that you affirm that men can get pregnant. And if you don't say it, then you're responsible for violence. He said, I mean, this is their line. By the way, Sean, these are the same people, the same Democratic leaders who want to force young women to compete against real men in girls' sports, Holly explained. I mean, now we know why. If for all the parents out there, like why in the world are these Democrats want to eliminate girl sports. Now you know why. They don't believe in any such thing as a woman, not really. If they think that if a real man wants to be claimed as a woman, hey, that's fine. Well, we all have to accept her or else you are a bigot and you are violent. It's just crazy. I don't think it's just, uh, I'm sorry, I don't, I just don't think you're going to find any, uh, many parents in this country. I mean, I say that this is a parent of three kids, three little kids, he continued. I don't have any parents who say, yeah, I want my young girl. I want to have her play against real guys. I want them to be in her locker room. I want them to be in her safe space. I thought that the left is all about safe spaces, but not for women, not anymore, not for young women. It's a crazy agenda, Sean. He added, like nobody supports his agenda. I mean, what, 2% of the population maybe? No, more like it's 0.03% of the population to be exact that had this mental illness. It's craziness. And to hear Democrats say this stuff isn't, uh, um, isn't that, we all affirm it. It's not just their opinion. I mean, sure, you can have whatever opinion you want, but to insist that we have to agree that women should play men's sports, we have to agree that men can get pregnant or else we are predators. I mean, that's just insane, truly insane. But let's hear a little bit from the senator. All right, here's Senator Hawley with reaction to that fiery exchange. Uh, senator, I guess you're transphobic and you're, you know, according to this professor, opening up trans people to violence by not recognizing them. Uh, at no time during that exchange that I Again, see you didn't acknowledge damn you, Josh Hawley, that damn are transgender. You. You know, here, here is the modern Democrat Party today, Sean. It is that you have to say that men can get pregnant, and if you don't say it, then you are a bigot and you are responsible for violence. I mean, that is... The Boom. Boom. Well said, Senator Hawley. Well said. My thoughts. <clears throat> Excuse me. This Miss Bridges, she's a clown. She's a fucking clown. A professor at Berkeley who acts this way, who acts like a two-year-old child talking back to her parent. This is the exchange that you got between a senator and Josh Hawley who basically was calm, cool, collected, didn't fly off the handle, basically was asking, again, a simple question. Only women can get pregnant. Oh my gosh, she flew off the handle and, and basically she almost set the place on fire. Her hair was on fire, running around, her eyes bulging out of her head, acting all stupid and retarded. Basically, that's exactly how she came off. She came off as very, very unintelligent, uneducated, and ignorant. So, kids, um, correction, parents, you may want to avoid sending your child to California schools because if you do, you may end up just like this. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bargonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Subscribe to it. And hopefully my voice is a little bit better tomorrow. So uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.